Hi kids, here we are again. I am Sango and today we will be talking about social media. Let's start inside our digital houses and our rooms. We have seen that each of our rooms have something very precious inside of them. Our information. Today we will be talking about some of the rooms that we use the most. The ones that hold a lot of our personal information. Social media. Social media is an amazing piece of technology that allows people to share their thoughts, ideas and interests with others. For example, dinosaurs, pets, toys, space or your favourite characters. Before we take a closer look at what great and what risky things can happen on social media, don't forget that most social media platforms have an age limit. That means that you are only allowed to use them if you are 13 years old or older. Social networks allow you to share photos and information with your friends and also tag people and places you know. But it is important to remember that strangers can use this information if your profile is public. This can lead to dangerous situations if strangers discover where you come from, who you're with, where you live and what you like to do. Remember, nothing on the internet is really only ours. Social media is also a place where you can meet friends and exchange ideas. But have you ever thought about how you should treat others when you go online? Think about how you treat each other offline. The same rules apply online as well. It is important to respect other people's opinions, avoid using language that could hurt others, and remember that bullying is never okay. Here is some advice on what you could do if you're bullied or if you see someone being bullied. Tell a trusted adult, such as a parent or a teacher. Stop replying to messages. Block the person. Report the person using the social media platform's reporting mechanisms. Take screenshots of the messages so that you have evidence. Contact a helpline for support. Here are some small rules you can use to be safer on social media. Check your profile settings on social media apps and certain games and put them on private. This way only your friends will be able to see what you share. You should only accept friend requests and chat with people you have met in person. Some people with bad intentions create fake profiles and hide behind false names. Always think before you post. Only share content that makes you feel comfortable. It is difficult to erase things once they have been posted on the internet. Ask your friends to respect your privacy as you respect theirs. Your friends should always ask your permission before sending or posting your photos, videos or information online. Bullying is never okay. When you are being bullied or you see someone being bullied online, tell a trusted adult, get support and report the bully. Check out a list of available social media guides online on how to stay safe online on the resources section of the ITU Child Online Protection Guidelines website. There are many websites out there that share advice on how to feel and be safe online and how to set up the correct safety settings. One last piece of advice. Social networks are not always suitable for children, so you may see something harmful that can make you feel uncomfortable. If this happens, speak about it immediately with an adult that you trust. All clear now? See you again soon for our next episode about video streaming. Until then, stay safe, stay tuned, and engage. Bye!